What's up, everyone? I finally made it to uh, Walmart. I wasn't going to do a Walmart video today. Got a nice sunset going on. It's a very nice day. It's a little chilly, but way, way better than yesterday. Hopefully, the rain will miss us tomorrow. And that would be good. So, just go in here real quick, do a quick video. This is the third Walmart where I live. This is the third Walmart. Someone asked me what a Super Sen is. I really don't know. To me, they're all the same. They're all pretty big. Some of them got the pharmacy, the markets. They all have watches. I feel bad for these people that say they don't have it by them. <clears throat> a Walmart that has any good watches. Couple people commented. Oh, I was in Arizona. I'm in Arizona or whatever. We don't have a good collection. I'm. I feel bad because most of these WalMarts, I know the ones in PA, Central PA, they're filled with watches, and they're not locked up. I mean, there's there are areas I went to when I went to casinos a couple of months ago. There are some areas where they are locked up. So, yeah, it happens like that. But most of the areas that I go or where I live, they're not. Anyway, just see what they got quick. For a wrist check, I got this watch that I've been wearing today. Armatron Pro Sport. Been out about three years, I think, this watch. Been out for about three years, I think. Well, let's just see what they got. There's the uh, Georgie watches in all their glory. Some of them aren't bad, really. I mean, if you just want a durable, beta, cheap watch with basic functions, they're not that bad. I mean, not that bad. Let's see what it's got going on here. Stopwatch, alarm. And that's it. Like the one I'm wearing, actually. Some of the Armatrons have full spectrum. Stopwatch, timer, dual time. And some of them just have stopwatch with kid watches here. Some of them have stopwatch, alarm, dual time, <clears throat> and not the timer. And the other half of them have stopwatch, timer, dual time, you know. An extra little feature on it. I'm telling you, I'm waiting to get this watch on sale. I hope I'm zooming in on it here. The MTG, I think it's 900. This Atomic watch is awesome. It was just in a movie I seen the other day. I, I love that watch. If I get it, I have three Atomic watches. That would be my fourth, and I don't think I... That would be like the last one I would get of Atomic because I got I got three of them already. But that one is such a nice looking watch. I like the band on it. It looks like a Kami bracelet. It has like a link pattern to it and uh, self-adjusting. It might have updated in the store, believe it or not. I doubt it, but I see it's Thursday, 316. It's got the right date. And this is a newer, I think that's a newer version of this watch. This one next to it's nice. Someone's always asked me, am I getting it? I don't know. It's a vibrating watch. It's nice. G-Shock. But this G-Shock here is one on my list. Definitely I would get. I love this watch. The silver with the darker band with that rubber piece there. Very nice watch. Fantastic light on this too. This is a great watch. If anyone's interested... And this watch, if they're checking it out, go for it. It's definitely a major something you should get. M, it's MTG 900, I think. That's what's over here. Got some sales going on. There's an Amatron. See, all of these watches yesterday were $15. They were all $15. These were going for as little as... 13 or that's that's the one I have home the horizon this was going 
for as cheap as 13 even $7. These were going, all of these watches right here were going for $15 in the other one I was with. So they vary <clears throat> from store to store. And here's the watch I'm wearing. It's only $22 in Walmart. It's the same watch I'm wearing. It's, uh, it's, it's a model that's been out. It's just the Pro Sport. I don't know the number on it. Um, it has the same functions. The alarm, stopwatch, dual time. Nothing, it don't have a timer. <clears throat> but there it is. I was just talking about that earlier. Nine out of 10 Walmarts I find these in. This happens to be the red and gray. I got this, I like my color a little better. I like the orange and gray, but this is what's available in the store, but you could actually find other colors with this watch in Walmart. I, I, I think this would be on their website actually, uh, Walmart's website, you get any color you want. This is the watch I bought yesterday, and I'm sorry if I didn't review it. I got a good deal on it, but I promised a friend the watch, and he's into like, uh, camping and stuff blah 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 and he's really not a watch guy he's a he's a good friend of mine um and i promised him a while ago a watch the diver from casio this one here i don't know if it's over here i don't even see it right now this one right here i promised him this one i said yeah you got to check you i think you were like because he said he could find his way out but i happened to buy this for seven i thought of him and I promised him, I never gave it to him. And I gave him this one because it has the North, West, and South, analog, digital. He's a camping guy, so he knows how to find his way out of stuff with the analog, with the, uh, the analog hands. So he loved the watch. So that's what happened with that. I didn't even get a chance to review it, but this is the watch. It's a nice watch. It actually, if you go to my YouTube channel, it actually is the same as the red one that I had. It's the same watch, just in a in a tan in a tan bracelet, uh, like a khaki color bracelet, resin strap. So it's the same watch as the red one. But I didn't get a chance to review it because I gave it to him early this morning. Anyway, that's what happened with that. But look look at it. It's thirty one dollars. I got it for seven dollars. I mean, that was just chump change in my pocket. This one I had around the holidays. This is this is a major go, this watch, if you could get it. But I'll wait for it to go on sale. I'm not going to pay $40 for it. But I love this watch. It's, it's really a cool-looking watch. It's like an ice bracelet, like a gray see-through bracelet, and uh, functions on it are cool. It just The only thing with this watch is it don't have a second hand, but... It has an analog digital, and it's really a nice watch. This one was over there on sale yesterday for $15. I think this is a great watch. This World Time Casio, I wouldn't mind owning it. Fantastic watch. Fantastic looking watch and fantastic watch. So, yeah, that's what's here. This is another one I'm looking for, but I wouldn't pay full price for it. This is a beautiful watch with the blue Armatron. Being I'm on an Armatron kick, this watch is awesome. It has the blue and white hands, analog digital. I really like this watch, and I really like that they didn't put any numbers around it, messing it up. They just made it look simple. And the readout on it's really nice. It tells you Thursday, 316. You got your digital time, analog time. I really like this watch. As soon as this goes on sale, I'm going to go for it. Put it put it in my collection. Definitely. Definitely. You got a sketch a watch with the negative display. Here's another Armatron. One of the older ones. Nice looking watch. Their digitals are getting very reasonable, the regular digitals, because they put out a line with the analog digitals. So now their digital watches came down in price. 
This is actually, this is a pro sport too. Some of them are very nice looking and reasonable. Got some nice Timexes, Expeditions, Timex Iron Man. Can't go wrong with an Iron Man. Great watch. Couldn't recommend it enough. That's all I used to wear years ago. I used to get one after the other. I just that's basically all I wear years ago, but I'm a little late to the game, but the Casio, I got hit by the Casio bug about four or five years ago and realized how good they are. So I have a lot of Casios now, and and I have Timex and Armatron. Those are my three brands that I stick with right now. The best watch I own is a Seiko dive watch that went up in price. I bought it for two something. It's it's now the watch is worth a thousand dollars at least or more. This is another one of these uh, the AE fifteen hundred. I love this watch. Great watch, Casio. I'll be wearing that a lot. I got the with the beige one. This is their newer dive watch. It's a bigger bigger version of the smaller one. I actually like the smaller one for some reason because it's not really that small. This one. The price is right on it, too. You believe that this is the number one? You can look it up. This is the number one selling watch on Amazon. This is the number one selling watch on Amazon right now. Crazy. But it's a nice watch. It's a very durable, rotating bezel, day and date. Nice second hand. Nice looking watch. I'm looking to add one of them to my collection. This one was $15. The guy grabbed it yesterday. This uh, chronograph, $15. Crazy. I, I I had to fix my car, so here's a negative uh, here's a negative display uh, vibrating watch. Can't get enough of those. I love this watch. If you never had one of these watches, go for it. Really go for it because they're really they're really great watches. Here's another nice small, not intrusive watch that's great. Great watch, hundred meters waterproof. Here's another one. Look, here's another one. I was just talking about this five minutes ago. Where that's the red one. See how I find them in the store? This is a nice color. I wouldn't mind that green with the gray. That's the one I have. That's the one I have. That guy was talking about this morning. So see, I'm in Walmart and they're here, $22.84. This is about a two-year-old model. It's been out for about two two years, maybe even three years. So they went down in price. It's just digital, but it's a nice chunk of a watch. It's it's a nice beat of watch. Anyway, they are in Walmart. You can still find them. I find a lot of the old models in Wal in Walmart. <coughs> they have uh, there's one with an orange like ball on the side of it. This is another one that's an older model that's real cool. I just don't like the numbers going around it, but it's a real cool watch. Fifteen dollars. I would buy it. I like the orange Velcro band, orange and black. I like that color, but I don't like the numbers going around it like that. If it didn't have that, I would I would definitely pick this up. But that that'll even drop lower than that. You'll see that watch for like seven dollars one day. Anyway, I'm in Walmart. That's what's here. I don't see any shocks. A lot of uh, Timexes. A lot of nice watches. That's the watch I got yesterday for seven dollars, thirty-one dollars, and this one. So it varies from store to store. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Got some sales going on. Nothing to write home about though. I'm gonna end this video. I'll end it on the G-Shocks. Everyone, have a nice night. Peace out, everyone. Peace out.